microphone. We are joined in the media center by our top fuel winner here, here at the Menards, NHRA National, presented by Pet Armor and Heartland Motorsports Park. Antron Brown breaking through for a win as a team owner. His first win as a team owner. Antron getting through Brittany Force in the first round, Josh Hart in the second round. His quasi teammate just naturally in the semifinal set up a well known battle against Steve Torrance and the Capco team that were also looking for their first win of the season. And Antron gets it done. Last NHRA win, Atlanta 2021, but this is your first as an owner. 69th of your career. AB, walk us through the journey to this moment as a winner, as an NHRA team owner. Oh, Joe, this has been a, a lifelong dream, and uh, we never imagined we were going to struggle like we did. But I can tell you one thing that we all got through it together. It was always high emotions, and uh, for my family as a, as a deal, I, was, I just wish that my grandma would have been here to see it. Uh, we lost her in December. And I know Brian's got a heavy heart too. He lost his mom the year prior too. And uh, it's one of those deals where you, it's, it doesn't feel real because it's a dream. This is, this is literally a dream when you think about where we came from. We worked from motorcycles, Brian worked on cars. All of us as teammates, we all worked on stuff and worked on stuff. Never in a million years we thought that our team, that we could own a team as a whole, all of us together. And we talked about it for years, my wife, my family, TY. We talked about it and we're like, man, we could do this. We could make these changes. We could do that. But you never think it's a possibility. And when you have so many different people going, certain people going, you will never do this. You can't do this. It costs too much money. It takes too much of this. And to surround yourself by the right people at the right time, from all of our staff at ABM to Allie who does our PR, Ted does our B2B, I mean, you got my wife doing hospitality. You got Brad running the crew guys. You got Brian and Mark leading the helm on the performance side, and then we're just working our tails off to get the support from Maco, Lucas, all the people on our deal from Hanks for Series XM Toyota with GRR, and then Western Tech Summit coming aboard Oakley, like Dart and Sleeves, all the people that make this possible, and the Kawasaki Parts Warehouse and when you get this all to come together and you look where you came at to where we're at now and brother whew, the struggle was real but this makes it all worthwhile and when you hear people is not even talking about you no more they're not even talking about your team not worried about this not worried about that and uh and i knew we turned the table there in sonoma and we just needed to qualify a little better and get in the right spot and when you get in this right spot where we got here but the thing about it is, that's the old school team network. Don't make errors where we qualify. You put your head down and you grind. And once we got past first round, and then we went out there second round, and we got through the third, we got to the final. Was Steve O in the final? Brother, that's old school right there. You don't know who's going to win. Toss a coin. And when that win line came on, brother, it was just like, boom. And is it real? It is real. Because look. That's what makes it real. See that sweat? The hard work? Uh-oh. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where's it at? Did I take it off? Oh, I took my metal off. I don't know where it's at. There it is. Bring it but over. You know, Dana Kennedy from National Drag, sir. You see that? <laughs> Look at that. that. That makes it real. <laughs> Let's open it up to members of the media, starting out with Bobby Bennett from CompetitionPlus.com, and then we'll go around the horn. Antron, uh, you broke out as a, a team owner at the same time as Ron Caps, and just like Caps, you basically brought your whole team intact that's carried over for years. But yeah, you see Ron go out here, get his wins, and get success. How hard did that pull on your your confidence, your faith, everything? Well, it tries on your faith and your confidence, of course. But at the end of the day, we didn't do exactly what Ron did. Like, Ron went out there, and he's running all the same stuff that he won a championship with last year. Nothing different at all. We started from scratch. We ran our same chassis, changed the whole clutch program, changed blowers, injectors, changed body. We changed, uh, we changed pretty much 70% of the stuff that's on our race car. So we knew we were going to come out with bumps and bruises because we didn't want to come out and be the same that we were. We wanted to be better. 
and uh, and we're getting there now. We're getting there. We know we're starting from scratch with parts that we're unfamiliar with, and we felt that they were better than what we were running, and they are. You just got to figure it out, and that's what we're doing. And uh, we're going through it. And Ron, he had that short success, short term where boom, he just left off where he left off last year. And one thing he added to the table that even gave him another boost, he added the Toyota team. You know what I mean? So Toyota with all the benefits there, then with Guido and Medlin and their Tri True, the whole team. We started out with the same team. We had two new guys, and we lost one of them and replaced one other guy. And to get that synergy there, it was a lot. And uh, to get everybody on the same page, atmosphere right. And uh, we went through it. It was like the school of hard knocks, bringing everybody together, believing in the same vision, and we're there now. And now the road only keeps on getting better. Uh, as a follow-up, speaking of the bumps and bruises, you come up against Steve Torrance, who hasn't got a win this season, like, and he's tired of hearing that he hasn't gotten a win this year. And then he's up against AB. Did you just like look at him and say, "Sorry, you got a good team, but today ain't gonna be your day either"? Bro, let me tell you something. Me and Steve go way back. We're racers. He went through the struggle before, and for us, we've been through the struggle. We're in the same boat. He changed a lot of stuff on his car in off season too, and they were working on it to make it better, to be better than what they were. And when we race, brother, I don't care who we race, we go out there and give it all we got, and let the chips fall where it fall. And like he is working off from last year. He won a lot of races last year and won the championship. And we won last year in Atlanta. Started off right, and we fell back and forth. But man, right now, I don't care who we're racing. We're going to give it all we got. And, brother, when that trophy's up on the line, that money's on the line, it ain't, I ain't got no feelings lost. Ain't no love lost. <laughs> uh, Lee Craft, Monday Morning Racer. Congratulations, Antron. Thank you, Lee. So, how many visits to Applebee's and desserts are you going to get this week? Brother, I'm saying lean and mean, brother. Lean and mean. <laughs> I can't go off the deal. I'm probably the last I've been in a while racing a fuel car. And we're keeping it right, keeping it tight. The countdown's literally two races away, and we're going those races, and we're going to give it all we got, Lee. That blonde at Applebee's going to have to wait. And we're going to have to sell for the brunette, which is my wife right now. Right. <laughs> That's my sweet treat. I can kiss that and don't get no calories. You eat that ice cream and that blonde with that maple sauce on it, that puts some stuff on your bones, brother. And John David Kennedy with National Drag Shirt. Uh, your first one is team owner. How does the celebration from this moment on change from when you were a driver to now? What, what do you have to bring back to the team? What do you have to share with them? Man, it, not share. It is sharing. You know what I mean? It doesn't make a difference. The only difference is I just signed the checks. This is our whole team as a whole. And we're all in this together. We split things. They get bonus. We all split everything on this race car. Only thing that don't get to split is when we have some chaos. I just get to split that pill. <laughs> That's why we don't get to put back in the team. And right now, brother, is a, our team, AB Motorsports. That's everybody is together. We're all in this together. And that's what AB Motorsports is all, all about. It's family. We're family. And uh, we're sharing in this. And everybody's holding up from every end. The whole team as a whole. All of our people. Everybody that I said earlier, they're all in this together. So that's what makes it so special right now. It makes it real special because we're doing this as family. Antron, quick final question or two. Now that you've gotten this win and you've broken through and you've made it real, the perfect time to ask you about as you went through this process, was there a moment where you said to yourself, uh-oh, what did I do here? Is this? Did I make the right move? Was there a low point, or can did you maintain your confidence throughout this period? For me, I've been through some rough roads. Okay, been there, done it. Been through, know what it takes and what it works, and the mindset you need to have. And you can even see on some people's expressions, some people's face, the media writes you off. There's no different than what you see in every day. It's like people believe in what they see. They don't know what's going on behind the ropes and what goes on in the shop. And I saw the chemistry change, I want to say, before we went on the Western Swing. We got Brian Shear hard on our team. We brought a new intern in, hired him full time, Adrian. And you can see the chemistry and the guys' expressions on their face even though we're struggling. And for me, I'm just going, brother, if you stay at it, it will change, just like the weather. The weather never stays the same. You just gotta stick with it. Tornadoes come and knock the whole city down. Hurricanes blow things over. 
But you know what you gotta do? You gotta rebuild. And we just kept on building. And I never lost the faith. And all of our partners that are in this, they go, you guys are gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. And when sometimes at your lowest point, you go back by those ropes and those fans come to you and go, Yup, this is y'all week. You won't get it. And when you get that, and even some of the people on your team, they go, A B, what we gotta do? It's gotta be at the right spot at the right time. We could have beat numerous cars first round, just qualifying the wrong spot. Takes a little bit of luck and chance. And then once you get your chance, you gotta shine on it. And uh from here on out, we're only going forward. Like A B more sports. We put that one on the map. And this ain't going to be the first, and it ain't going to be the last. Yeah, elaborate on that. Look ahead to Brainerd, the big go. It's uh, It gets real from here on out. Is this team a legit contender? I don't know, Joe. What you think? Right now, you're looking pretty good. All right, brother. We ain't going to stop. We ain't going to slow down. And uh, we went out to the racetrack every run. And we didn't show all we had on race day. We didn't show all we had in qualifying. We went at 81 with 8, first round of the box, set us up in the wrong qualifying position. The car shut off at 700 feet. It was on a 77 run, okay, Q1. Then the next run, we shut off early again because the nozzle was off. Shut off 800 feet. It went at 880. It was on an 84, 85 run. Then we go first round, you know what I mean? It actually dropped the hole, ran it through the stripe, it dropped the hole, and actually was beating itself up because it dropped two holes, and we went at 81 too. It was on a 79 run, first round. 77 run. Second round, we went 81 with a 2. It was on a 79 run at the hottest part of the day. Then the next round, we smoked the tires, and that run there, Brian saw Steve Allen get in trouble. He just shut the car off because he knew we were out front, and the car was going to run 87 right there. 87. 88 the slowest. So we're right where we want to be, and we're just got to keep getting better. So a lot of good came out this weekend, and we're looking forward to Brainerd. Brainerd's always been a great racetrack for us. Well, we ran the first 60 run at Brainerd years back. We went to 68-0. Gets JR top. And uh, we're come, we're gonna go back and it's gonna be great weather and we're looking to try to run in the sixties again. And once we get that figured out, it's game on. And I think bringing up full qualifying rounds is gonna help us achieve that. Congratulations on your first win as a team owner in the National Hot Rod Association. Thank you, thank you, thank you.